Zidar Hashimi is director of the Center for Middle East Studies at the University of Denver. He joins us uh, from Toronto via Skype. Appreciate your time. So put the, the impact of the ceasefire in some sort of context. First, just the, the technical ceasefire of it all. What, what does that mean? Well, it effectively um, means the uh, defeat of the remaining rebel-held forces in um, southern Syria. Um, Russia has um, um, overwhelming firepower. Um, Syria has the backing of Iran and Hezbollah. So this is, this is a ceasefire that effectively will, I think, uh, play out in the exact same way that we saw events play out in East Ghouta a few months ago and in Aleppo uh, about two years ago with the um, conquest of uh, remaining the remaining parts of Syria by the Assad regime backed by its uh, international uh, and regional allies. And when you talk about the, the international regional allies, how important is Russia's role in making sure this ceasefire sticks? Well, Russia has been the main negotiating partner. They're the biggest international backer of the Assad regime. They have the, um, 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 you know, they have the international um, uh, a position as uh, being a member of the UN Security Council with a veto. Um, they've been the key interlocutor with the Syrian rebels, so they're the ones who negotiated this ceasefire, and they are now claiming that they're the ones who are going to, you know, implement it. And this is, you know, perfectly consistent with past practice that we've seen um, with respect to those two other areas in Ghouta, in, in Syria, in East Ghouta and Aleppo that I just um, mentioned. Russia Russia was, you know, a key player in negotiating those um, uh, deals as well. What kind of psychological impact um, will this have, does this have on the rebels? Well, it's, um, it just confirms, I think, the worst fears and suspicions of um, uh, the Syrian rebels that they have been um, abandoned by the international community. Um, they've been abandoned by their regional allies, and it's just a matter of time before the Assad regime conquers uh, the remaining parts of Syria. So it's psychologically a huge defeat. It doesn't really um, um, represent a shift in the tide of the war. It just confirms um, existing political and military trends that have been in place really since Russia intervened in 2015. Okay, um, Nader Hashimi, um, always good to call on you at times like this. Thank you very much. Thank you.